On the 6th of June, 1946, in the state of New York, Dr. James Naismith started the league known as the Basketball Association of America, or the BAA. During this season, there are 11 teams that were part of the league. In the Eastern Division, there were the Boston Celtics, the New York Knickerbockers, the Philadelphia Warriors, the Providence Steamrollers, the Toronto Huskies, and the Washington Capitals. And in the Western Division, the Chicago Stags, the Cleveland Rebels, the Detroit Falcons, the Pittsburgh Ironmen, and the St. Louis Bombers. But before I get into telling the story, remember to like and subscribe to this channel. On the 1st of November 1946, the first game of the BAA was played between the New York Knickerbockers and the Toronto Huskies in Toronto at the Maple Leaf Gardens in front of 7,090 spectators. The first basket in NBA history was scored by Oscar Ossie Schechtman from New York and here it is. In this game, Ed Sadowski of the Toronto Raptors top scored with 18 points, but it was in vain as Toronto lost 68-66 to to the New York Knickerbockers. During that game, Ed Sadowski also fouled out with 6 fouls, and 4 other players had 5 fouls. But now let's get into the rest of the regular season. During the 1947 and 49 seasons, each team in the BAA played 60 games throughout the season, 6 against each team. Like today's NBA, teams were separated into two conferences, and three teams from each conference made the playoffs. One of the best players in the league was Joe Fulks, a power forward that played for the Philadelphia Warriors. Another leading player in the league was Bob Furyk of the Washington Capitals, who was both a forward and a guard, and was well ahead of his time. The season wasn't particularly eventful, apart from the BEA being founded, and there were no major injuries to any of the players in the league. At the end of the season, there were six teams that made the playoffs, with all of them having a win percentage of over 500. In the Eastern Division, the Washington Capitals finished with the first seed and 49 wins, being led by Bob Fierick. The second and third seeds in the East were the Philadelphia Warriors and the New York Knickerbockers, with 35 and 33 wins respectively. In the Western Division, the Chicago Stags finished with the first seed and 39 wins, with the St. Louis Bombers and the Cleveland Rebels finishing in the second and third seed. Prior to the 1955-56 season, there wasn't an MVP award. However, there were two All-BAA teams. The players on the inaugural All-BAA first team were guard Max Zaslowski of the Chicago Stags, forwards Bones McKinney and Bob Furyk, both of the Washington Capitals, and Joe Fulks of the Warriors and center Stan Miasek of Detroit. On the second All-BAA teams were guards John Logan of St. Louis, Ernie Calverley of Providence, Frankie Baumholtz of Cleveland, and Fred Scolari of Washington, and also the center Chick Halbert of Chicago. Onto the statistical side of things, Joe Fuchs of the Philadelphia Warriors led the league in scoring, averaging 23 points a game, followed by Bob Furyk and Ed Sadowski, but Furyk actually led the league in field goal percentage as well, but he only shot it at 40%. Ernie Calverley led the league in assists with 3.4 a game, and at this point in the league's history, they didn't record rebounds, blocks, or steals. As I explained before, three teams from each division made the playoffs. The Capitals, Warriors, Knickerbockers, Stags, Bombers, and Rebels. The playoff bracket during this season was very different to the one that we know today, with there being three rounds all up. In the first round, the third seeds from each division played each other, as did the second seeds. The losers of both rounds were knocked out and the winners played each other in the second round, with the winner advancing to the finals. On the other side of the playoffs, the first seeds of each division played each other, with the winner advancing to the finals to play the winner of the second versus third seed. In the first round, after losing the first game of the three-game series, New York came back and won two straight games to advance to the second round. During this round, the Warriors also won, beating St. Louis in a series 2-1 and advancing to play against the Knickerbockers. In the semi-finals, the first seed of Chicago and Washington faced off in a six-game series, in which Chicago upset the stacked Capitals and won in six games, advancing to the finals. 
The second and third seeds, Warriors and Knickerbockers, faced off in a two-game series in which the Warriors swept New York and progressed to face Chicago in the final. The finals between the Warriors and the Bulls wasn't close at all, with the Warriors winning in five, becoming the first champions in BAA history, and the one game that the Bulls won was a one-point game. During this series, Joe Fuchs was the standout player, averaging 26 points on the series, with a high score of 37 points in the first game. And while the finals MVP wasn't introduced until 1969, Fuchs was far and away the best player in the series. So that was the story of the 1946-47 BAA season. Whether it was the first game and basket in NBA history, or Joe Fuchs averaging 23 points a game, this was an interesting season. As well as that, the Chicago Stags upset the Washington Capitals in the semi-finals just to lose to the Warriors in the finals in five. So what do you guys think of the inaugural season of the BAA? Who do you think stood out and what do you think of the way the playoffs were structured? Let me know down in the comments and remember to like and subscribe. Peace.